You wanna play some games? What kind of games? Fucking board games! Yeah! yeah! Sup, Choo Choo's? This is the Fail Red Express Board Game Review. I'm Christopher. I'm Adam. And I'm Josh. And today, we are going to be doing a review of Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures game. Ooh, mm. exciting. I know I'm excited. Adam, are you excited? I don't know much about Star Wars, so I have no expectation of this game, so I'm just actually going to defer to you guys. Well, ever since Rogue Squadron 3 on the GameCube, well, let's be honest, Rogue Squadron 2, there's been this futuristic space dogfighting deficit. In 2012, Fantasy Flight changed that when they released the original X-Wing Miniatures core set. So today, we're going to play the new Force Awakens core set that just came out, which features ships and pilots from Star Wars The Force Awakens. Josh is going to show us a tutorial on how to play, and then we're going to get into the video review. At the end, we'll go ahead and rate the game on our three categories of ease of use, replay value, and overall fun. And in this game, we're actually going to pit both core sets at the same time, and we're going to rate both of them. It's going to be a lot of fun. I have, I said I have no expectations, so you Nobody can say cares. so. <laughs> I'm going to show you one typical round of Star Wars X-Wings miniatures. Now let's say we're in mid-game to make it more interesting. I've already done the planning phase in which we take our maneuver dials and secretly plan each maneuver. And I've already placed the templates out to expedite the tutorial process. Maneuvers go in level from lowest to highest pilot skill level. So we start off with Zeta Ace, number five, who banks two, and is going to do a barrel roll to make sure he's out of Poe Dameron's X-Wing's firing arc because he's already suffered one damage. Our level six pilot is gonna go three forward so that he can get rid of the stress token that he had. And now that he's gotten rid of his stress token, he's going to target lock Poe Dameron's X-Wing. And finally, Poe Dameron, at skill level 8, is going to bank 3. And he's going to focus because his special ability gives him extra stuff to do when he focuses. All right, we use our attack template to see that Poe Dameron is in within 2 range of the TIE Fighter, which means he gets to roll 3 dice and the TIE Fighter gets to roll 3 evade dice. For the sake of the tutorial, let's say these are our rolls. Poe Dameron's ability allows him to turn one focus into a hit. Now, since this pilot target locked, these two rolls don't do anything, but he does roll one evade, which gets rid of one attack. So now we have one damage and one critical. The one damage takes away the one TIE Fighter's shield, and the critical hit gives him a face-up damage card as opposed to a face-down damage card. And the damage card reads, treat all turn maneuvers as red maneuvers. Critical damage. That's one round of X-Wing miniatures. Every ship gets to maneuver, and every ship gets to attack if it has a ship in its firing arc. The game gets more complicated than that, and you might see that in the gameplay. Um, oh, damn, run boost. So, uh, before you take your action, let's let uh, Tover take his so action. Yeah. Let just go ahead and... That's, um, no, that's fine. It's not going to interrupt him. I'll just focus. What do you want to focus fire and ignore my target lock for now? Poe Dameron snuck behind me, man. I'm going to shoot well, Josh. Okay, movement. and you mm. aren't going through the asteroid, it doesn't look like, so... You don't have, I don't get an extra dice. Oops. Here, I'll get it for you. Yeah. I believe I'm at two. Yeah. Yeah, you're at two. The two. Okay. So standard standard attack, dice standard defense. defense. And I get three. And yeah. I get three as well. Okay. Come on, Josh! Oh, man. Yeah, well, that's oh, that, yeah, reroll. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Awesome. Okay. That's... The force is with you. So but I still take a critical. Canceled. Nope, the critical gets resolved last. Okay. Well, I mean, it so doesn't affect you really, it just takes your shield down. Oh, that's right, yes! So. Damn, these ties, they're spinning oh, the shield. Right. 
these you guys. Did. This is the cleanup maneuver. Wow. We are probably just uh, <laughs> I think I just got destroyed. I just got destroyed. Yeah. Because I only dodged one, and I still get three hits. And so, how much health do you have? I have three. Well, one of them is a crit. Oh. But it doesn't yeah, matter. It doesn't matter. He's, Crits he's and damage. Blown. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you're going to crash oh into him. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Bumper this... cars into that. There are more ties. Do really? you know how big <laughs> space is? <laughs> yes, I, I do. You managed to like pull off a Times Square rear end collision. Hey, I'm <laughs> this is a three air. ship pilot. It's <laughs> your fault. How you get even? Uh, all dodges. All dodges. So all dodges. dodges. All dodges. Come all on, come on, come on. All dodges. All dodges. Big money, big money, big dodges. Oh, oh. That, he's, he's dead, isn't he? Yep, yeah, he's dead. He's dead, so. Yeah, it, was, it was a lot to ask. Red target lock is gone. You know, me fighting off two right X-Wings by myself. I, I'm trying. <laughs> you had two TIE fighters. I don't doubt I will. The money shot. Oh yes! my god! Oh my god, it worked! Are you dead? Yeah, yeah I'm dead. dead. Three hits. Thank you, sir. Okay, yeah, you've got one evade and three dice. I am, I am you. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Ooh. Oh, that is the last one for that one. So. That was the game we actually had to stop playing because we ran over time, uh, but Adam won by default because he had the most points left on the field. I will admit that was actually a lot of fun. Yeah, it yeah. was really a lot of fun. So now we'll go ahead and give our scores on the game, uh, starting with ease of use. So we gave each of the X-Wing core sets an equal value in ease of use of six. And that's because as far as combat goes, it's just a simple dice system. Uh, when it comes to movement, there are a lot of guides to help you figure out where you end up and who's in your firing range. Um, the obstacles that we use, the asteroids, are optional. And there's even an additional simplified set of rules that you can use when you're getting started. However, it is a very precision-based game, and these stands can slide around, so that can mess up where you are in relation to everybody else. Uh, and of course, for any expansions that you use, the more expansions you use, the more complicated it's going to get. So for replay value, we gave both core sets a 5 out of 10. Now don't crucify me just yet. It's a good reason. Remember, we're just talking about the core sets individually. And individually, you get three ships and three missions. So it's a great way to get started playing this game, and it's got the simplified rules, and it just fulfills that science fiction flying fantasy. Now, on the other flip side of that, you exhaust these missions and the exhaust the replay value rather quickly with only a two versus one ship battle. And according to the CDC, this game is as addictive as crack cocaine and costs twice as much, and they keep coming out with new expansions, which just the more expansions you get, the better the replay value. And that's what the game is meant to be. More ships equals more replay value. So a five. We gave X-Wing Miniatures an eight out of 10 for overall fun, because it's a well thought out aerial combat simulator. What I mean by that is, I'm not a Star Wars fan, but if you take away the labeling of Star Wars, it's still a fantastically well-made game. I don't care if you could make it planes in World War II, it could be about the Korean War, it could be about the Battle of Midway, it doesn't matter because the system works so well. It's all about outwitting, outmaneuvering, and outplaying your opponents. That's the rewarding part. Because it ain't over till, it's, till the fat hut sings. It's not about the size of the dog in the fight. It's about the size of the fight and the dog imagery. What I'm saying is that as long as you still have a fighter in the field, you have a chance to win. That's why this game is fantastic. Anything can happen and you have tremendous comebacks. Our game is a perfect example of that. As far as why we didn't give it a 10 out of 10, I'm told by Josh and Adam, who did all the setup work, is that 
there is a lot of setup time for your system building. Uh, there's a point system for budgeting out how the teams are built up. I didn't have to do any of that. I think it was a phenomenal game. So eight out of 10 overall fun. That was our review of X-Wing miniatures, both the original and new Force Awakens core sets. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a like. And if you enjoy our board game reviews, subscribe to our channel. Leave us a comment below. If you agree with our scores or if you disagree with our scores, uh, feel free to leave your own scores in your own categories. You can follow us on Facebook and on Twitter at Fail Road Express. We have more of our videos up top for your viewing pleasure and for more reviews. Left swipe. Okay, no. Definitely yeah. left swipe. One oh yeah, right swipe that one. Yeah, yeah, right swipe for that one. Oh man. Mm. Right swiping her.